Welcome to your weekly program, Balahdan, the show that brings you music to your living room. You know, we hear a lot about the uh, Somali community, so many negative stories, mainstream media, but the art is really, uh, that community is rich in arts and music, and they have wonderful music, it's just out of this world, very unique, very kind of uh, send you away like you are walking in the desert or walking alone, you're not affected by modern life. And uh, I was fortunate to meet one of uh, Somali singer here. She's a great, has a great voice and a great story, and she has also a great personality. We have Zahra al Ain, and she is with us there. She's going to talk about uh, her story with music and the uh, Somali community with music. Welcome to Bulahdan, Zahra. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Zahra in Arabic means uh, a flower, right? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay. And you look like Afra. You're very decorative, <laughs> very nice, very Thank nice. You. Uh, you know, we, we don't hear a lot about, especially here, uh, about uh, Somali music. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, but you guys have a very elaborate uh, way of expressing yourself. And, you know, if you go to a Somali wedding, you see a woman dancing. And they're yeah. just wonderful to watch. And they're not ab ab abated by anything around them. They're just enjoying themselves. And in a groups, and they, they, they have like a, a language that they, and they tell us a little bit about uh, your music. When, when did that start? I start um, 1989. So you start young, and uh, so you start uh, like uh, performing in a places, or you just, how, when do you realize you have a, a beautiful voice and the voice that needs to be heard? Oh, when I was, very young, my mama, mother used to tell me I have a nice voice, mm -hmm. but uh, it takes you know, too long, you know, to start singing. Yeah. When I, one day my friend, she told me uh, I write about her story, something about her story, love yeah. story. Uh -huh. And uh, I say, you know, I'm not, I'm not, songwriter or something yeah. like that or a story writer yeah and she say no you are because we used to go you know adult school we used to go there then I write it, it was UAE Arabian country you know yeah Emirat. yeah Emirat. yeah so I always come sing to uh, to the woman is you know song from uh, that I make it you, write, I, you yeah. write your own song? Yeah, but I didn't know I can do it. <laughs> oh, I see. But she you know, I don't know, somehow. So, so you write about things, you know, uh, uh, your feeling, things happen. Yeah. So it's just yeah. your own stories, yeah. in a way. Yes, so I say, okay, you sure I'm a writer? She say, yes, you are. You're a writer, uh -huh. you're a singwriter. Yeah. Okay, okay. songwriter. Then I went to my home. At the night time, I say, why When you, you say why home, you, yeah. you, you talk to about? My, to, to my home. In, in, uh, in Arabs, Emirates, or uh, yeah, Somali? Yeah, Okay. I grew up in Amar, uh, okay, Emirates. Emirates. Okay, good. Then I went to my home, and I say, why you don't try? She told you, maybe you are. You know, sometimes you write down Arabic song, so that means maybe yes. Then I did, at the night time, I did. I finish the song, two bits of song, with a melody. And the melody too? So yeah. you write the music? I don't write, but I... You, you feel it? Yeah. So uh, Most of my do songs. Do you still remember the first song you wrote? Yeah. Can you, can you recite it or you say something? What was it about? About love, you know. What she, else? Yeah, she, she, she loves somebody how, and how? she can't tell him. Okay, so as, as most of our uh, lover there in their area. <laughs> so how old were you when you wrote that song? Uh, I think like 23. 23, like so. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, uh, tell us a little bit about it. Maybe, maybe you can sing it for us. I know we have a, another uh, CD for you, but l let's hear yeah, the first song. I think song. it leaves a lot of memories here. Yeah? Uh, the song name is Al Ain. Al Ain. Like my nickname, yeah. That's your, uh, your artist, uh, artistic yeah. name, Al Ain. Yeah, okay. so because we live in Al Ain, Al Medina, I mean the city name is Al Ain. Oh, I see. Al Ain mentioned the eyes. 
and uh, you live in a city uh, with by the same with name, that, yeah. and uh, it is a love story <laughs> yeah. about not being able to tell. Yeah, she can tell but, him, you know, they, is, they you live in the same look. house. She only looks, she say, please wrote for me, and she take to him. Okay. After I well, let me hear it. I'm interested in hearing this first song. Singing or yeah, the sing. word is... Sing, sing it. Mm-hmm. siga <laughs> cha'il Kal ain tani go helai, a chab e o la ya able, a chab e o la ya able. Allah alaf kuwa ana aga, a shak alaf kuwa ana, idi dukayo, a radi talehio. Wow, even I don't understand. This is in a Somali language? Yeah. And I don't understand what, but it's, it sounds very lovely. Yeah, mm -hmm. you have a lot of uh, sometimes Arabic. I sing Arabic, you know, in but my country when I went and start. I used so, to sing so Arabic. when you sing this uh, Somali song and uh, the people who are listening to are Arabs, right? Or all, all, all Somali, the people you sing it to? No, that's Somali. Somali. Course, so you yeah. sing it for Somali community yeah. there in that area. Yeah, yeah. But what, what the song saying, you know, the, what they say? Uh, she telling, you know, uh, that she love, you know, have love, and you know, she can tell that she's lo lo <coughs> love with somebody, <laughs> and it's strange. Yes, sir. Strange uh, that she can, you know, tell. Oh, but 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 she knows that strange, I and mean, uh, she uh, wants to tell. Yeah, she wants to tell, but you know. Well, what was stopping her from telling? Shy. She Afraid, well, shy. She's shy from the person to tell him. I see. That's why she, you know, choose to... Uh, well, the, ma the man should the one be telling, not the woman, right? The woman is tell sometimes, yeah. you know. <laughs> Nowadays, a woman tells. <laughs> <laughs> Grab the man. Well, yeah, is this a typical uh, relationship, a woman a little bit shy about... In the Somali, you know, telling her how she feels yeah, about. Yeah, that's. So, so now you start like sing uh, to your friends and family, and then what? How did it become like your career? How did it become your your call? You know, I start uh, from my country. I went from Arabian country to my country, Somalia. Then uh, over there, I went. Uh, uh, to the biggest band. In Somalia? Yeah. Okay. So they choose me. I was happy. So and I used to sing Arabic and Somali in my country. And uh, so you were the lead singer for that band? Yeah. And... Uh, it's big band. Big band. For the government, you know. So, so you sing like in a state uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. radio? Or? Yeah. Okay. Acting, singing. Acting, singing. What year are we talking about? Was it, how about stability and all that? Was it? What year are we talking about? When was that taking place? We were singing in a, in a radio, and you have you have a, a big name there in Somalia at some point. Yeah, you know when people hear radio, go to the shows to listen your uh, song. Uh, watch, watching your movies, mm -hmm. you know, people will love you, you know, know you. Yes, and you became famous and popular. So wh how did you make the transition from Somalia to the United States? Uh, when I was in my country, almost two years, the Civil War. Civil War. The Civil War start. And then... They don't like song anymore. Yeah, <laughs> I become refugee in camp. So what? Where, so where? I stop like, I think ten years. Did you feel like you are you can't perform anymore, or you, yeah. you are threatened, yeah. or? Yeah, I stop it completely. And uh, I know you cannot stop art, or uh, yeah. you can express you, you what's take, going on. You know, yeah, you take. Some time off, then you come back. Come back, you know, yeah. it doesn't go away. Yeah. So how how you're singing and, and uh, artistic expression change 
from singing in, in Somalia and singing here in the United States? In Somalia, you know, it was easy. There is a lot of show. There is uh, stories, you know. Yeah. But here, you have to go if you want to, you know, become popular. People know you. You have to go to the weddings. You have to go to the shows. You have to go to another countries. But, you know, I have uh, kids. Uh, 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 in your writing mm -hmm. and in your uh, singing, uh, do you think about the same thing when you are away, or is it the same thing like back home? Is still about loving someone, and not being able to tell him, or is it different when you are in diaspora and, and mm -hmm. you know you are away from home and you live in a refugee? Yeah, there is a lot of songs. You know, you you miss your, you know, it's your home. Yeah. So you have to express, you know, what the feeling that's inside you. Mm -hmm. I, I noticed that uh, a Somali woman, th th there is no problem of going and singing in public. There are, uh, there are a lot of Somali women that they, uh, they take in the lead in music and band. Yes. It, it might not be in somewhere else, you know, uh, like in the Arab country, it might be a little bit different. Uh, yeah. So, uh, really, what keeps this uh, can, uh, I mean, the culture of Somalia is the women, you know, taking care of kids, uh, keeping the arts. Yeah, but there is a lot of men, you know. <laughs> yeah, men well, <laughs> what well, we expect well, men to woman, do. Yeah, well, you know, a uh, woman, when she's doing something, she have to have men help her. Well, men, men go and maybe fight. He, maybe we'll he, go to war. No, he maybe, oh, now. No, it's different, but it's still the music is going on. Yeah, very strong. from the TV, yeah. yeah. Music. I'm scared all Somalians become singer now because we <laughs> have a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. No, nobody has, you know. Maybe for the problem is, you know, yeah. when you have a lot, probably some people, they write down, yeah. you know. Everybody's uh, an artist now, I and mean, we need somebody to build the country. <laughs> <laughs> They still have to but but it's, it, it just it shows you how the richness of the uh, of the culture you know it's so rich and, and people yeah. can be able to find the best. Uh, I know you brought us uh, a CD you know a music. Can you tell us a little bit about this uh, song when about uh, what, that we're about to hear? Yeah, um, it's a lot of uh, love song. So telling uh, she's telling sh uh, that. She feel in love and it's very hard and uh, she feels strange and uh, you know and it's leaving her and she asked him to liberate her. Yeah. So the love is enslaving her. And she the put, love. The yeah. Love. Wow, that's so powerful. <laughs> well, I said love is blind. Uh, that's enslaving. <laughs> Maybe Taylor give us uh, yeah. uh, some it of the wonderful music here of uh, love, uh, love slave or slave of love. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so we can hear it and we can... The, the music, the, the melody. I did. You read the music? The music and the, yeah. It's wonderful. I want to get up and dance. <laughs> yeah, it's You a, don't want to see it. That would be a first. <laughs> You're not by training, you're just by listening? Did you go to school? No. But I don't believe that. So you just feel it. Oh really, they like enjoy it. themselves. <laughs> yeah, they like it. Well, you know, we're gonna... We're gonna just, uh, I, I'm glad you had a chance to come here and share this story with you. We wish you luck. Thank and you. And we, we just uh, will end this uh, piece with this wonderful music, and I'm sure we'll see you again. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much, Reza. Good you. luck with your music. This is a wonderful thing. Thank you. Uh,